One, two, three, four, four. Well, hello and welcome back to my shed here in Norfolk. Wait for it. You'll notice something a little bit different up this end. Oh my goodness, what happened there? <laughs> I was busy the other day and I put in uh, this shelf. So this now sticks out two feet from the wall above these shelving bays. And it's given me space to put the rest of the stock, all of the stock that was out there, cluttering up that room that I couldn't find homes for in here is now neatly stacked up there. Look at that. Most of it is these um, bubble machines. Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze, wait for it. What? Ah, it's gone. Okay, I'm not gonna sneeze. Yeah, most of it is these um, bubble machines, lots of those. Uh, dinosaurs right up the top there. Yeah, but that, that works really well. I still do kind of want to put one up here as well as I've keep I've kept on mentioning it, but I don't know. Now I've got everything fitted in here and we're not planning on buying more stock for quite a while. I've got more than enough to be going on with. So it might do, this might be the solution I needed. Um, that works really well. Anyway, I'm waffling, welcome. It's actually a Monday. We've had the, uh, the long bank holiday weekend it's a bank holiday Monday, so nothing is going out today, but I thought I might as well get ahead of myself for tomorrow and pick some orders. <coughs> pick some orders. Your orders. Orders. So, <laughs> should we do a bit of that? Um, now, we've had some sales on the new label stock. Um, so I thought we would start there and I can, I can show you more in detail what we've got stock wise um yeah i'm really pleased that started to sell because i don't go small on stuff we've bought an awful lot of this and it's always a risk as i said in that whole video when it all turned up but we've started to sell it and i think that's going to go well the jewelry um is proving slower that remains to be seen whether that was a, a risk that we took that we shouldn't have taken um, the jewellery is all listed now. We have six different lines. There's actually seven boxes. Um, one line takes two boxes. Um, yeah, that's proving slower, but the paper is doing well. So I'm going to quickly get all of the orders up on my laptop. We'll take a quick look and then I think we'll start with the paper products. OK, so it's been OK. Um, we have all of this to find and dispatch. Like I say, it's going to go tomorrow because it's bank holiday today, but this is everything we need to pick. Um, let's get to the top. Uh, we are looking for uh, 46 orders for £682.48. OK, I have written down what we need to pick regarding labels. So four labels per page times 100 we sold two lots of. Now we don't have a great deal of these, um, four labels per page. What we do have is in packs of 25. What did I just say? 100 times two. So I need to grab eight of these from here. I'll need that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, leave that one there. So they are off to a great start. So yeah, these are A4 pages with four, you can't see, but it's split into four labels. Um, perfect for courier labels, address labels, that sort of stuff. So it's some of those going. Oh, I need to remember to ship out um, Carla. I'm sure you know Carla Jenkins, um, good friend of ours. She wanted some of those as well. Four labels per page. Little note to Carla on there. So I've got to remember to ship hers as well. Now, one label per page. We have much more stock of that. We have sold two packs of 200. Now, conveniently, I have a couple of loose ones there. So these are 200 sheets. 
Um, it's worth mentioning, actually, if you were interested in buying some of these, um, the company that makes these does little um, templates and you can go onto their website and download templates for your computer. So that's really super handy. Um, so yes, what were we doing? One label per page. We sold two, two lots of 200 sheets. I just hit myself in the face with that. <sighs> then we have 21 labels per sheet. Now, when I used to do Amazon FBA, I used to get through so many of these sorts of labels. Again, you can't see, but this is divided up into 21 small little barcode size labels. You know the thing. So if you do do, if you do do, <laughs> if you do FBA um, and you're in the market for some uh, labels, yeah, give me a shout. They are listed on our eBay, but I could do you a better deal in person if you want to buy in bulk. We have quite a lot of that stuff. They are in packs of 25, but we're selling them, you know, in bigger lots as well. And we have sold one pack of 25. Um, oh, now we've sold a big lot of the four labels, 500 sheets. So that's going to be quite a lot of packs of 25. 25 times four, four, 20, 20, 20 packs, maybe. I'll do that later. But we sold that. That was a big lot. And the biggest order going out so far of the labels is 1,000 sheets of one label per page, which is an entire box of this. So if we grab one. Now these weigh maybe 12 kilos, something like that. So, yeah, let's pop that over here. So that's not a bad start, considering I only listed all the labels uh, a few days ago and we have some traction on those listings already. The only labels I haven't shown you are these. We have a lot of these. These are handy. These are round labels. I, I peeled some off just to try them out on there so you can actually see they are four centimetre diameter labels coming in packs of 25. Um, yeah. If you're in the market, drop me a message, let me know. They are also on our eBay already. And as you can see, we have a lot of those. So there we go. That is all the label stock to go. Right, I'm gonna perch you on that box of labels. Just like that. And we will whiz through everything else quickly. So bubble machines, those have picked up, I guess because we are now into Easter holidays. Um, People are thinking about kids and entertaining kids in the garden and stuff like that. I don't know, but we've had a, a bit of a flurry on bubble machines. Let's do all of those together. So, one. Scully, 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 I'm sure there's a bunch gone. One. Okay, so I imagine it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, because we have one, two, three stuff in there. Those, I'm not sure you could see that. Um, and we do actually, yeah, we have quite a lot up here as well. So let's grab a couple more from up here, maybe. There we go. One of the beauties of these, there's, there's not a great deal of margin in these. Um, we're still doing them at 10 pounds all in. But beauty of this is they go as a small parcel and all I have to do is stick a label on it. <laughs> so it's a case of print the label off, stick it on in a mail sack. There's no work with them. So although there's not big margins, there's virtually zero work. Put a label on and it heads out of the door. Okay, next we need to find some scooter wheels. I think these are the black ones. Yes, good, because is that the first? It's the first lot of the black ones to go. Here they are. So we've got two different designs of these. These black, and then you may have seen in other videos, we sold quite a lot of the 
the coloured ones, which are up here. These go a lot better. Um, but it's good to get a pair of the black gone. They're going out at £20 a pair. Um, next, we need Arabia Finland. Oh, I think this is the very last of the Arabia ceramics. We've sold a serving dish. Now, we took a relatively low offer on this. I think it was listed, I think originally at about 40 and we sold a very similar bowl for around that sort of money. Um, this was the last of all of that Arabia we had. And we had an offer come in of 25. And we just thought, you know what, We're, we are so far into profit on it all. We're just going to let it go. Because we also have so much ceramic stock unlisted. We just need to make space. So somebody got a pretty good deal on that. £25 plus post. Yeah, £25 plus post on that. But we had loads of plates, a couple of bowls like that, all sorts of stuff. I think we paid 25 for everything and we got back two or three hundred pounds in the end. So, yes, happy to let the last bit go a little bit cheaper. OK, that's that. A um, couple more vintage red noses. Um, I need to dig those out because they are in a box squirreled away. One sec. OK, here they are. Just a little lot. So we have a, uh, what year was this? 2003, I think. This is like a hairy nose with stylable hair. And then this one, which is a big foam nose. Yep, little lot of noses, vintage ones. Gone out the door. Now we've sold a Wi-Fi extension aerial. Now we sell um, CCTV sets. And we also have a whole load of um, Wi-Fi extension aerials that go with them. We sold a single one, and I think a couple of lots of two, one, two, yeah, two pairs as well. So I need to grab five in total, and they are tucked in here. So one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, they're selling okay. There's very little margin in these, but again, they are super simple to do. They come already packaged and we just pop a label on. For the pairs, we've just been putting them in a poly mailer or something like that and sending them out. So that's all they are. So three lots of those, two pairs and a single out the door. Now, the nano tape is still ticking along really nicely. We have sold... Four, five, five lots, that might be it. Six lots, seven lots, ooh. Seven lots of four. Now I don't know that I've got any up here anymore. No, that all sold through. So we need to go around here and around here and dig some out. Get these dinosaurs out of the way. Dinosaurs everywhere. Right, seven lots of four, so three, four, one, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Four, six, one, two, three, four, seven. So, <laughs> all of that is going, which makes me a happy boy. Um, that has been really good. Again, I've said this a couple of times today, there isn't a great deal of margin in it, but we just shove those in a, in a mailer. They go out of the door. They are quick and easy. So, yeah, happy to shift another seven lots of four of those. So, we sold a Kodak Easy Share digital photo frame. A second hand item. Oh my God, did you forget that I sold second hand as well? 
Now soon we will be pushing our way through listing all of this stuff. Um, I don't know why I'm looking over there. None of that is listed. Here we go. Right. Up here is this Kodak um, digital picture frame. You know, the sort of thing. These are worth picking up. Um, yeah, particularly these Kodak ones we do quite well on. This one has sold for £25 and we picked that up at a jumble sale for a pound. So in contrast to some of the stuff I've been showing you, like these that have relatively small margins, this has a huge margin, a pound into 25. Um, so that's going. Pop you back there. Um, oh, another Red Nose Day collectible. We sold a pack of these, still in the packet. This is uh, an air freshener from 2007. Those sold for £10. Another lot of vintage red noses. Right, again, I'm gonna have to dig those out. I didn't know I'd sold two lots. I should have got them at the same time. Right, bear with. Okay, so it's this lot. So similar to the last lot, but it has an extra nose in. This is one of the squeaky ones. So another little bundle of vintage Red Nose Day collectibles. Um, right, we need a gaming mat. We still have a few of these, but they are slowly going down. Again, another product where it takes no effort. I just have to put a label on there, put it in a mail sack and drop it off. Um, we sold a DVD. It's a sealed Batman. One of those I think was on at like four pounds or something. Three fifty, four pounds, something like that. Um, okay, pop you back down. We have sold some uh, coat hooks. A pack of four. I had some out here, didn't I? These. And as I mentioned last time, I can't forget to include the screws. Um, next, we have sold some heat transfer paper. Now we only have uh, the dark fabric one left in here. These, I think we have 20 odd of that sort left tucked in here. There's a load at the back. Um, these are selling at £10 a pack, so that's nice. Um, Lego Minecraft, another used item. Yes, I do sell used stuff. I think it is indoors. Yeah, so I listed it. I set it up in the kitchen and then listed it the other evening, but I think it's still inside. I'll find the picture from the listing and pop it in here. That sold pretty much straight away for £20, which is pretty good. I think, if I remember rightly, it was £3 in a charity shop. So that wasn't too bad. Now then, as part of the last haul, you may have seen we had various different colours of these neck pillows. Um, those are going pretty quick. We have sold a grey one. Let's grab that first. Grey one there. Right, I'll do all of them quickly. We sold a blue. It's a blue one here. I can get it out. Blue. These are listed at twelve ninety nine each. Um, I think we had a double. Like somebody bought two as well. Uh, we sold a. Now there's some that are two tone, and they. Are right up there. <laughs> I might get that one after we've done. I've got to get up on a step ladder to get that. Um, yes, one of the grey two tone ones has gone as well. Um, oh, and that's going to Sue. Sue is a viewer. Um, thank you very much for your order, Sue. Um, I think I've missed a couple of shout outs. I'm going to trawl back through and do those at the end. So if I've missed you, um, I will try and remember to do that at the end. Um, 
We've also sold a two-tone grey and blue. Oh, this is the double order. Now, I think they are now under here. No? Where did I put them? I've moved so much stuff around to try and uh, organise the space as best I can. Here they are. See, these are blue and grey. And we had an order of two of those. Now, there's multi-quantity discounts, I think, on most of these. Um, yes, so they... They gained a bit of discount because they bought two. So the order in total was 23.38. Oh, I'm getting notifications on my phone. A watched item is ending soon. Right, I need to have a look at that. West German pottery plant pot. Right, I'll just do that. I think it's this one. I think. Is it that one? Yes, it's that one. Uh, $14.50 all in for that. Right, we've done all the stickers. Oh, we need another World of Warcraft mat. Like that. Uh, stickers, stickers, we've done stickers. We've done neck pillows. Um, toilet roll holders, hooray! I haven't sold one of those for a few days. Uh, there we go. Again, going back to the to the bulk stock, there isn't masses of margin in these. Actually, these aren't too bad, um, but they are just super simple. I just tape these together and put the label on there. So it takes like 30 seconds to pack and it goes straight in the mail sack like that. Um, yeah, I mean, the margins aren't actually too bad on those, thinking about it. But they are super quick and easy to do, so that's a great product. We sold a dinosaur. These are proving quite slow, but I did think they would be. And I'm thinking we will probably sell the bulk of those at Christmas. Oh, I, found, I had some dinosaurs, didn't I, around here? I had to move some. Here they are. We have a few of these still low down. The rest... Oop juggling it the rest are now right up there and they may stay there <laughs> until Christmas um yeah so these are proving slow at the moment I think they're listed at 20 so it's good to get another one of those out the door bubble machines we did at the beginning oh another oh no I've done that one <laughs> confusing myself we have sold an Erasure CD single, factory sealed. Um, if I move you around to here. Now I have a few of these. I bought um, a little order of a bunch of these when Mute was selling off a load of their old catalogue. Um, they had a clearance sale and I picked up some really nice erasure collectibles um, and they're ticking along okay so another one of those is going oh that might be the first one I bought several titles um, one we sold out of already that proved really popular these have been slower let me just have a look yeah that's the first one of that one to go um, that's good to see ah more of the wheels so the the multicolored ones as I said before, with this kind of, almost like a petrol effect, you know what I mean, kind of shimmery. Those are way more popular. And we have sold another set of those. More toilet roll holders. There we are. Bubble machines we've done. Uh, we've done those more heat transfer paper so here another pack of that and we are at the top 
Hello, Nick from the future here. I completely forgot to say thank you to a couple of people who bought from our store. So just quickly, thank you to Nita, to Daniel, to Helen, and to Brad, who left messages on your orders. But in my haste yesterday, I completely forgot to read them out. So thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Okay, back to me yesterday. It's all right. So I think that's everything. I'm just gonna scroll through because I kind of jumped around <laughs> as I was trying to pick similar items together. But I think that's pretty much it for today. So not bad, it was relatively quiet. I think because it was Easter weekend, a lot of people were busy doing other things. So they weren't browsing on eBay and buying stuff. Um, but we can't complain, we, we've done pretty well actually, all things considered. Um, we haven't been listing, I touched on it before, I can't see us buying any more of this bulk stuff for, for quite some time now. We need to work through all of the stock we've got. And now I think everything is listed now. I did all the paper products and those neck pillows. Everything is all listed and sorted and started selling. So now I can concentrate on all of this and start plowing through my backlog in here, Andrea has a huge backlog of this sort of stuff, which she is gonna plow her way through and we'll get back to doing the secondhand stuff. And then all of this will tick along in the background. And it's kind of how we've always done things. We've always had a couple of hauls ticking along in the background, providing that regular income. And then the used stuff is, yeah, it's a lot more fun, certainly a lot more fun sourcing it. And in general, we get a lot better profit margins from the used stuff than we do from the big hauls. But this provides that regular income in the background. Yeah, and they complement each other. Um, so, but yeah, moving forwards, lots and lots of listing, getting through the backlog and uh, yeah getting all the used stuff listed. Anyway, I've started waffling. I will leave you here. I will find one of my videos. I will pop it up here. So please check this one out if you would like to. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.